Path of a flowering plant All flowering plants have two main systems the root system and the shoot system The root system grows mainly underground and the shoot system grows above the ground Shown here is the shoot system and root system of a flowering plant Let us now study the paths of a root When a dicot seed germinates the radical of the seed gives rise to long deep seated root called primary root or tap root The primary root is thick and large and gets divided into branches that are known as secondary roots The secondary roots branch into tertiary roots The tip of each root is protected by a root cap Every root has a cluster of very fine thread-like root hairs for absorbing water and mineral salts from the soil. Let us now move on to learn about the shoot system of a plant. Shoot system forms the aerial portion of a plant. It develops from the plumule and remains above the ground. It consists of a main stem, leaves, buds, branches flowers fruits and seeds let us study each of them in detail the stem is the aerial part on which buds leaves flowers and fruits are born the stem forms the main axis that connects the root system with the rest of the plant the leaves grow on the stem at definite points called nodes They manufacture food, store food and helps in transpiration. A bud is a condensed shoot. Buds may give rise to flowers or to new shoots. Buds that grow into new shoots are called vegetative buds and buds that grow into flowers are called floral buds. Do you know that the flowers which are grown in houses, parks and road sides for their brilliant colors beautiful shapes and fragrance a modification of shoots in which nodes and internodes are highly condensed a fruit is a mature or ripened ovary its important functions are storing food materials helping in dispersal of seeds and protection of the seeds against injury